here's what eight hundred and twenty dollars a lot treated lumber looks like these days or for our bridge product or this is for our bridge project so i bought this lumber a while ago treated lumber we're redoing our bridge um i'll show you what it used to look like with just a bunch of cobbled together wood and we're gonna make it look nice so my wife is going to cut all these two by sixes into seven foot sections we should get two out of each 16 foot board and this really isn't going to be a long project just needed the time to do it so she's going to cut the boards and i got to go to work she knows what she's doing so it's all good so we're redoing this bridge right here. We already tore out the old decking. We got the frame there, two I-beams. The one on the left needs to come up a little bit to match the one on the right. I'm just gonna lift it. We're gonna put 2A limestone material underneath it. But I wanna clear some of this vegetation back. Look, this tree right here is too close. It's just a little not a nuisance tree, so I'm gonna tear it out real quick. All right, we're working on this bridge today. I got the uh, Bosch laser transit down here. We need to get this left beam up. Uh, right now it's sitting, this one's sitting lower than that one. So we're gonna get it so it's somewhat level. It'll be easier to use, just use the laser transit. five one so we need to come up five inches So now we're just going to put gravel underneath until we get it uh, setting where we need it to be. Right here. Yeah. That worked. Worked. All right, so we're going to hook it back on the bucket here lift it back up and put another two inches of gravel underneath there to bring that up i got the mk holland mini dump truck with a few scoops of gravel We're just looking for close. So right here's four eight. That's four eight and a quarter. I'm happy with a quarter inch. So we have a lot of vegetation here that's kind of like a pr all up on this bridge. So I want to push this all back and clear it back so we can get more of a straight run onto this bridge. So I got to push some vegetation. Then we're gonna lift that far beam to get it leveled up with this one. I just broomed off the beams so they're pretty clean. They're pretty much level, close to. We brought our four by sixes down in the back of her truck off the trailer. Because it's a narrow trail coming back. You, so we didn't haul them that way from the store. They were on a trailer. We're gonna set them now on top of the beams. And then we're gonna secure uh, two by sixes, a little over seven feet wide all the way across.
that's our quitting point for today. The board, the four by six treated, four by sixes are in place. Uh, next, we're gonna start laying the decks. We already cut, pre-cut the boards. They're two by sixes, just over there. I think they're seven feet eight inches, because we're gonna put a a rub rail down the sides, and uh, we can start laying those out on here, and then start drilling and screwing them in. Shouldn't take too long. So this is the bridge. Um, Tony put these boards on for us. I know they're not lined up, but we had a little extra there, so I'll take a chalk line and make it straight across at the shortest board and take a circular saw down the side just to even up both sides, and then we're going to put a rub rail on it. But now we'll be able to drive the side-by-side -side across. It does have some give in the middle, so we're going to check and see how much it bows if we need to put some sort of support out in the middle, but should be all right. This little tiny turtle right here, it's like a 50 cent piece. All right, so back to working on this uh, bridge. It's been a while. And the guy that installed the boards for us, he kind of, they were kind of put different lengths. So I just, we just strung a chalk line across it and uh, I just ran the Milwaukee battery powered circular saw down it and got a straight edge on there, pretty straight. And now we're gonna put rub rub strips on the end as you can see there's one board down there it's already starting to bow so to keep the ends from bowing we're going to uh just we're going to put some water sealer down and then uh put a rub strip on, rub rail on it all right so we finally got this little rub rail on it'll help keep the end of the boards from bowing and uh yeah it looks nice We'll come back and water water treat this. We'll come back and water seal this wood uh, before too long. But um, I'm gonna bring the excavator down here and clean up this bank a little bit and dig out that area right there like I had told my guy to do last year. And he got the excavator stuck in there. So I'm gonna do it. But yeah, we're gonna put probably put one more two by four. I didn't get enough, I wasn't thinking. But uh, we are double these up. We're going to give it a little bit of time so I can come back with a screw gun and, and maybe suck those boards up a little bit tighter uh, in a week or two. But yeah, we can finally use this bridge no problem. It stiffened the boards up because there's two, you'll see the two I-beams down the middle. And then, uh, yeah, these will just help stiffen the outside boards up. All right, I'm going to get the excavator. I don't, you can't probably see it, but... Uh, right here, there's like six two-foot carp on top of the water. We'll see if we can see them. Of them right there. Hard to hard to see them with the glare.
All right, that looks a lot better than it did with all that brush and bull crap here. All you gotta do is, all you gotta do is pull up and put the blade down at the bank and and dredge it out. I mean, it was pretty simple. But I'm gonna bring the excavator around to this side. Uh, and one of these days, I'm gonna get this tree out of here, kind of is in the way, and clean that bank up some, and then dredge this out. <laughs> Open this up some. The water's real clear right now. What we have going here is she brought some 2A limestone. Some people call it Crusher Run. There's all kinds of names for it. She, we have a pile up at the house that I, I mean, being that I haul gravel, I just always have a, a pile. And uh, we're gonna put it down right here at the edge. There's a bit of a drop off. We put one more board on and uh, yeah, we're just gonna put this limestone down, put it underneath and kind of make it a smooth transition. These rangers are great. We use ours like every day to get around the property and do these jobs. It dumps. They make a little electric dump for it too, but it's not necessary. Please subscribe to my channel so I can upgrade this and get one of those new explorers. hard too. It was nice with the with the fines in it, the binder. It'll pack and set up and get really hard. Go ahead and dump it. I got it. If you enjoy videos like this and projects and property maintenance, uh, subscribe for more so I can upgrade my equipment. Thank you.